Uh, we'll just jump in and get started right away. Um, Chase, you want to take a roll call real quick? Hassan? Here. Quorum? Susie's not here yet. No. Okay. Paul? Here. Nolan? Here. Kreisel? Here. T. Winkle? Uh, Wacken? Here. Okay. Um, on the All list right. of participants, uh, Andy? Yep. On the list of participants, uh, uh, Kip, who's Patty? Uh, John Friel. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My wife's cow book. I'm on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, just so just for the record, John Field and uh, Brendan are joining us uh, from SEH. So. And uh, looks like uh, Nate from River Channel. Yep. Awesome. Thanks so he'll be he'll be he'll be recording. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let's let's jump into it then. So right away, number two, we're going to do discussion and possible action. Um, the bids received for uh, water waste treatment plant improvements project. Okay, so in your in your included with your invite in your packet, uh, you should have received um, or with the agenda a recommendation letter from SEH, uh, basically on Thursday, May twenty first, twenty twenty. Uh, five bids were received for the Hudson Wastewater Treatment Plant Improvement Project. Uh, complete tabulation of the bids is attached. Um, so we, you know, if you remember last time when we did this, we had, we had two bids. Uh, this time, uh, we did have five bids. We had Maggie Construction, uh, RJ Jarowski Construction, Market and Johnson, Myron or Mirren Construction Company, and Gritter Construct, uh, Construction Company or incorporated. Um, so you can see kind of in the, in your, in your bid summary, uh, where they all came in at, uh, low bid was Magni construction at 10 million, uh, $55,600, uh, which is 2.1% over our engineer or over the engineer's estimate. Um, if you go to page two, it lists the overall project costs. So we've got construction bid pricing uh, with the um, Magni construction bid at $10,055,600. We've got a construction contingency of 10% of uh, $1,005,560 for a subtotal of $11,061,160. Uh, engineering for the design and construction was uh, $1,639,730. And the construction material testing um, that's for testing the ground. Uh, once we get going, that's for testing the, the uh, what's below the ground and stuff like that to see what we have to do down there. 75,000 for a total project of $12,775,890. Um, that is roughly uh, about $377,000 cheaper uh, than what we had opened up on March 4th. So all around it was a, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good decision to to cancel them bids at that time and rebid this. Obviously, we got we got way more way more contractors, um, and if you look, you know they're all they're all right there in terms of numbers. Um, you know, from low bid to high bid, you're you know you're looking I'm sure there's a difference there, but you know everybody's right in that that you know ten to eleven million dollar range on this project. So, so if anybody has any questions uh, for me. Um, for Brendan or John. Um, otherwise, we would be looking for a motion to accept the the bid from Magni Construction in the amount of ten million fifty five thousand six hundred dollars, uh, and move it forward to City Council for approval on June first. So moved. We have a second. Pat. Pat seconds. Pat seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll second that. Pat Any? Nolan. 
Joyce Joyce Hall was first. Pat Nolan was second. Any discussion on it? All, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, everybody. No discussion? Nobody has questions? I have a yeah. question about the engineering, and I think we have the two right guys here. Is that a percentage or, I mean, just do you actually sit down and figure out what you're going to have into it, or is it just a industry accepted percentage? For the contingency? No, for your fees, the uh, – one million six hundred thirty-nine thousand seven hundred and thirty yeah. plus the seventy-five extra for the material testing. So our fee was based on um, it, it. There's kind of a couple ways we looked at it. We looked at um, hours. We looked at uh, estimated cost back when that contract was signed, and um, and then percentage too. So that was back about a year ago um as far as the material testing that it, that's more of a that's a separate contract with a material tester to verify concrete and soil testing yeah i guess the seventy five thousand. that's i understand that part I, I just didn't know if there's a industry standard percentage i mean i'm not gonna lie it works out to 13.6 percent and that seems really high to me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep it, so we kind of look at it, it depends on the project. So this one was a rehab project. So sometimes the percentage isn't always representative of, of the work, the engineering work. So there's some parts that are a lot, you know, don't have high value construction wise, but um, are more engineering wise cost to produce the plans, frankly, and then the specs and then to do some of that review. So yeah, I, and, and there is kind of a curve sometimes that you can look at depending on the construction cost. But a lot of times with a rehab project like this, it is a higher percentage. And, and you're right, that, that does seem a little high. Um, it actually was a higher percentage a year ago when we signed the contract because we thought the project might be less. So we were actually locked in at a, at that price when we thought the project was smaller. So the project has actually kind of gone up. So in a way it's, you've actually got a little bit of savings. Um, almost half of it is the construction cost. And a lot of that relates to our, um, inspector that's going to be on site for the construction phase so it's that and that's going to be a combination of myself coming to monthly meetings um, other disciplines like the electrical mechanical engineers chiming in structural engineer providing oversight for that inspector when they're doing work um, and so that there, there's a lot of hours in that construction phase part and then and then this first half with the engineering design we had uh, about 20 different staff, specialized staff working on all the different aspects. So, I, yeah, I think there's a lot. It's a big cost. The, the you know, the plan set was over 200 drawings. Um, so it all around, it's it's very big. Um, as far as the fee goes, it's it is pretty um, similar to other projects that we've had. And um, I tried to break down kind of the scope in the letter of engagement with Kip um, to kind of break down the different areas as far as what we were doing um, for e each phase. So all right. Hey Susie. Hi. Sorry. I, I actually thought we were meeting at the service center so I arrived there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I drove home so I could get connected oh, here now. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Did no. anybody else have anything else to comment along with uh, what Kurt brought up? Any other questions? Pat, do you have anything? Well, hopefully the clean water money didn't evaporate. No, I, I don't think it did. Anything else? 
decides what uh, brand of equipment goes in? Um, since you're switching over to a UV system, who mm -hmm. makes the determination? Is that included in this? Was it suggested to or in the bid papers or whatever? Yep. So we we des so uh, similar to the UV, um, we designed around kind of a major manufacturer for each of the processes. But then, as part of the funding, we had to list two or three different similar manufacturers. And so for the UV, we went we designed around uh, one of the manufacturers that probably had the most um, installations in the Midwest or U.S. And then we also listed a, a second manufacturer that uh, we've also have experience with that's um, a close second. Um, we did end up getting listed for the low ma low contractor uh, Magni. They had the manufacturer that we designed around. Okay. And um, Who's the manufacturer. Uh, the name of the manufacturer is Trojan UV. Yep. They're out of Canada. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm familiar with them. Who was the second one? The other one that we listed was Wetico. Okay. Um, does, is Trojan still the only manufacturer for the replacement bulbs for their systems? That's a, uh, I'm not sure if if they require you to buy them from them. I thought there was, I thought they allow a different um, supplier for their lamps, but I'd have to check on that. Okay. That Wetico did, but Trojan was the only supplier, but maybe they moved on and grabbed another one. Thanks. Anything else from anybody? Joyce, Dave, no? <clears throat> Susie, do you have anything? Any questions? I do not. No? Okay. Great. Well, appreciate everybody jumping on again. Apologies for being a little bit late. Um, so we'll have to get a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Do I get a second? Kurt. 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 Second. Kurt. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you all jumping on. Have a great night.